All right, function altering effects, things to blow your mind, the daily BA. Let's record. Yo, Ryan O, behavior analyst and creator. All things behavior analysis is what we talk about on the Daily BA. We like to nerd out on psychology and today, a simple concept that can help you rethink how we interact with the world. So first, in behavior analysis, there are various ways to break down and conceptualize behavior. Today, I'd like to show you one of the ways and provide an example that can be extended to help you rethink the world around you in just about every way imaginable. This concept is function and more specifically, how they can alter, that is, function altering effects. So first, function from a behavior analytic perspective is a term designated to explain the environmental variables that are responsible in part for our behavior. There isn't a single cause in this approach. Uh, there's a group of variables actually, and when they all co-occur in a contingency, that is they're dependent on each other and they come together, they function in a particular way for a person engaging in the behavior. So I'm gonna go through an example of positive reinforcement. First, let's say that you're on a date and you finish that date and you end the night, you obtain the number and you are going to text somebody afterwards. So I have my tablet here, I'm gonna draw out an example. You'll note here we have four different variables. Uh, this is a stimulus, that's something that motivates you. This is the antecedent, something that let's say triggers the behavior. The actual response in this case would be texting somebody and then the postcedent, the things that happen afterwards, also stimuli, okay? So stimulus, stimulus, response stimulus is how this goes. I'm gonna erase all these real quick. All right, so you wake up the next morning and at that next morning, there are certain things. This stimulus is gonna be, I don't know, let's say it's been 12 hours since you've last heard. Now, you have the sight of your phone. So sight of phone indicates the availability, right? So you have the motivation and the ability to potentially text this person. Let's say that you text as your response and what happens as a result? Let's say that they reply. If they were to reply, and this behavior happens more often in the future, or at least maintains that frequency, then you would say that this behavior was reinforced. All right, so this is an example of reinforcement. Let's go to another example. Let's say we have a similar situation. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the color. So let's say that this maintains that you actually have the sight of the phone. That is, it's been 12 hours. You're still motivated to be able to send the text. Let's say you even text as well. But let's say that the response is, is something the effect of like, uh, no longer <laughs> interested, right? Uh, you're just straight shut down. No longer interested. This is making it less likely, that is, that you're going to engage in this sort of thing. And as long as your behavior is less likely to occur, we would actually say that this behavior was then actually punished, all right? So this is an example of punishment if you were to have the red situation happen. So we've done reinforcement, punishment, let's go through extinction. Let's say that you have the same situation in which it's been 12 hours, you're motivated to send the text, you see your phone, you send the text, and what happens? Well, let's say ghosting, that is there was no um, response back, right? Like no text back from the person you were on the date with. This would be what we would call an extinction procedure. Horrible name, just describe what happens when a behavior receives absolutely no response whatsoever through this postcedent. What I've just done is I've described to you three examples and ways in which stimuli can alter their function. So the sight of your phone, how much it is that you want to engage in using it, or even texting that specific person. It might be the actual person only, not the behavior of texting everybody, but just the behavior of texting that one person can totally change as a result of the consequences of each of these. If it were the reply and you would receive that reinforcement, that would alter the stimulus and the antecedent condition of the person's name to make it more likely that you're engage with it. If it were to be that it was punished, it's going to signal that punishment is going to occur. That's gonna make it less likely that you're gonna text that person in the future. And if you had no response, that is going to do a similar thing and that you're going to not interact with it, but because of a different reason, that is because you obtained no response back or no, re no reinforcement, as opposed to uh, having some sort of aversive thing like the punishing text come through that you're no longer interested. So this function altering effect has profound implications in how one would come to understand their own behavior or influence the behavior of others. Behavior analysts like myself are contracted to do this under specific terms and conditions. So we aren't there just like doing this uh, unbeknownst to people. That said, the world is full of people actually leveraging this technology for better and, and for worse. I mean, just look at your phone as an example. It is full of behavioral influence to the point that it's actually a cultural conversation around the world these days of what is just too far. So again, stimuli might function in a certain way dependent on the context, the situation, your interaction with them, and they can actually change over time as well. I didn't go into this, but if that person started to text you back, gave some sort of disclaimer of like, hey, sorry, there was a medical emergency in my life and I wasn't able to attend to these sort of things, what was potentially a punishing 
um, situation might become a reinforcing situation. This is the beauty of the function altering effect. Certain stimuli in your life might alter the way in which they influence you for better or for worse. And with knowledge, you can actually start to influence these sort of things. Do so responsibly. All right, this video is brought to you because of, well, patrons, people like you that actually support my efforts financially. For the last three years, I have actually spent time and lost money. That's right, lost money creating these videos because I think they're important. That is, this field's important and there are important people doing important things that need to be shared um, by people like you. So if this is something that you're for, consider supporting me at the top link down below. I hope you learned something. Like, share, subscribe. Like, it actually makes a difference. And I will see you in the next one. That's your daily. B.A.